हाई गाइज वेलकम टू सी ए फाइनल एस सी एम पी ई और एस सी पी एम वी आर फोकस टू डू वन थिंग फॉर दिस सब्जेक्ट प्रोवाइड एवरी पॉसिबल थिंग दैट इज देयर इन योर मॉड्यूल्स प्लस योर टेस्ट पेपर्स प्लस योर बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज पोर्टल एवरी थिंग द वीडियोज दैट यू आर सींग नाउ दीज आर द वीडियोज फ्रॉम एम सी क्यू मॉड्यूल्स वेयर बाय वी ट्राई टू कवर द क्वेश्चन वी ट्राई टू कवर ऑल रिलेटेड कंसेप्ट वी ट्राई टू से बाई दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट बाई दी अदर आंसर आर रॉन्ग सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ ऑल द वर्क दैट वी ऑल डू फॉर एस सी एम पी कम्स इन फॉर्म ऑफ आर टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑल्सो वेयर बाय द फ्रीक्वेंट अपडेट्स आर गिविन टू यू एंड इन केस यू विश टू बी एनरोलिंग फॉर द कंप्लीट कोर्स लिंक इज देयर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू ऑल कैन एनरोल लेक्चर्स विल ऑटोमेटिकली स्टार्ट सो वी आर डूइंग अ चैप्टर कॉल्ड एज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कॉज स्ट्रैटेजिकली फॉर emerging business models business models have not remained same today like you know i do remember that uh, i'll not say like you know the names of people but there was a guy who did not know anything but except he had good sense of business he started to promote like you know he took water put that in beautiful bottles okay and started to say good uses of this water and it became a brand so water which gets sold for 10 rupees okay he sold it approximately for 1200 rupees and amount of sales that he did you will get astonished so it only requires good business sense and that is whatever this subject actually teaches you so even if it is not part of your six papers i do understand this subject is very important especially for those people who are going to be doing uh, mba or are doing acca in fact icai i always told is very stupid for them to be removing this subject because this is the only subject that teaches you actually how to be running your own business all other subjects one day will become rule based like you know they will be automatically done by machines your direct tax your indirect tax your accountancy everything is coming under a automation mode okay except this subject see business processes can be automated businesses strategies and everything cannot be automated at least not till now we don't know about the future so let's do the question for today identify the option with the correct sequence out of the given below okay design thinking lean startup six sigma agile okay then design thinking agile lean startup six sigma then design thinking lean startup agile and six sigma and lastly they have agile lean system six sigma in design thinking now this is the only question whereby i am not giving you all time to be thinking i am explaining the four stages and saying that this is how like you know all the things happen so let's try to be seeing what do you mean by design thinking now design thinking is basically a problem solving technique whereby like you know we try to be thinking what does a user want what problem is he facing okay i've given one example that is there on your screen right now design thinking is a problem solving approach focusing on understanding the user's needs generating ideas prototyping the solutions and testing them prototyping means trying to prepare a demo version of whatever we are going to be doing it encourages empathy with users and iterative development we like to talk to our users what is a problem that you are facing example a company wants to create a mobile app for the task management like you know every day we all do lot amount of tasks which task you like to be doing first at what stage it has reached okay have you completed that task or not we want to develop an app which will help like you know to save time of the user no maintaining the diaries up and so on up and so on okay so we want to be creating an app like that design thinking would involve researching the needs of the users ideating various features what all features should be there some alarm should ring once a particular task is uh, completed it should be like you know app should be linked with the other users in the organizations also so on and so forth creating the prototypes testing them with the real users to refine the app design okay so this is design thinking is basically a problem solving approach what the user want i would like to be developing that second stage over here is trying to have a lean system lean means something whereby waste are not there lean startup methodology i'm reading from the screen now emphasizes building products quickly to test the hypothesis and validate the market demand see whatever idea i have of the product no i don't know whether customer wants the same thing or not so therefore we keep on developing a model and we present it to the customers in case the customer says no it is not okay so therefore we change based upon how the user thinks like you know how it should be like you know if you try to be thinking of stock markets apps okay they constantly keep on thinking based upon the feedback from the users okay so example after conducting the initial research using design thinking 
the company builds a basic version of task management app with the essential features. So therefore, we try to build up a basic model, like, you know, what the user is looking at up and so on. And we give it to few of the users. Okay, not everybody. We don't try to release that thing in the market much on a mass scale, but to few of the users. Based upon the feedback, we try to improve the performance. This is Lean Starter. Based Basically, we are starting the organization now, but with a very small kind of the customer base. Okay. Once that thing is done, our third step is agile. Agile means being flexible, trying to understand the needs, the responses of the consumers and trying to be thinking, suppose a customer had this problem. Okay. Then how do we change this thing? So therefore it exactly meets the needs of the users. We would like to have like, you know, the team meetings, like, you know, that suppose entire organization, I try to divide into five teams. Okay. Based upon the five different aspects for a small example, a mobile banking app, just example, whereby on the first screen, we have like, you know, the account balances. Second, we have fund transfers. So one team is in charge of this one team is in charge, but all these teams teams need to collaborate with each other also to be giving the best experience. That is whatever agile means. Agile means flexible. Okay. Agile methodology is an iterative approach to software development that prioritizes flexibility, collaboration and customer feedback. It breaks the projects into smaller manageable tasks and encourages continuous improvement through regular iterations. Example using agile methodology, the team divides a task management app into smaller sprints means smaller parts. Okay. Each focusing on implementing specific features. They hold the regular meeting with the stakeholders. It st stakeholders could mean the customers also, or the employees who are making to gather the feedback and adjust the product priorities. And last step over here is nothing but six Sigma six Sigma. That means I've discussed in past also, it means waste should be kept at minimum. Now six Sigma, it is actually six and Sigma means standard deviation. So therefore the amount of waste that should be there should be almost zero. More of that in chapter number three and four that we all have covered. Okay. So Six Sigma is a data driven approach to process improvement aimed at reducing defects and variations in products or services. Now, before I read further simple thing, like, you know, once we release the app to the users, you all will understand that app might crash also. So therefore we should try to be using Six Sigma techniques. So therefore to ensure that there are no defects, Six Sigma mathematically is what? whenever the defects are 3.4 per million. Okay. So therefore, if the app crash rate is only 3.4 per million times it is used, we try to be saying you have reached the best quality level. That is nothing but Six Sigma. Six Sigma techniques are used like, you know, you have a DMAC technique, DM ADV technique. All these are techniques which are there in Six Sigma that help you to reduce the waste. I'm reading now. Example, once a task management app is developed and launched, the company applies Six Sigma principles to analyze the user and identify the areas where the app is not meeting the performance or the quality standards. They use statistical tools to identify root causes of the issues and implement the corrective measures to enhance the app's efficiency and reliability. So these are the four stages, how the things happen. Okay. So these four stages in the correct order are design thinking, lean systems. Okay. Then you have uh, a Agility and lastly, you have Six Sigma that is there in point number C over here. So that should be the correct answer. Yeah, that is the correct one. I'll see you next time in another question. Till then, happy learning. Bye. Take care.